Hello again, welcome back to a daily run. Ah, uh, Lazarus? Cohanger, Lazarus, yes. How far are we going? Mega Satan. Is that an easy mode run or a hard mode run? I don't know. Whew, Mystery Sack is a not a great start, but we do have some black heartage going on here, so maybe we can kill ourselves on this floor? Probably a bad idea. Uh, although, last time we played, it happened anyway. Uh, much like any prophecy, anything you do to try and stop it will turn out to be how it was supposed to go along. All along. In the first place. Blah -de -blah. Easy headless horseman. Let's take this pill. Look up. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was hoping it would be something amazing, but it wasn't. Something that would help us for this exact room. Uh, then again, it could have been addicted. Which turns out to cause you to do. Uh, to take full hearts of damage for the room. So, you definitely don't want to take an addicted pill at the start of the room. Kind of would have thought something called addicted would have had a slightly different effect. Maybe it would force you to take a pill that you picked up or something like that. But then again, I guess if you'd taken it, you would just know not to pick up any pills, right? <laughs> this is going okay. I'm going to try and uh, improve my aim game by not constantly going up and down all the time whilst trying to shoot something. So I've noticed there's been a, a flaw of mine. Why? Did you just shoot into the wall and therefore completely fail to hit me? I'm down with it. I'm happy with that. We've got the pony, obviously. Uh, let's just go. We've got a lot to do. We've got to get to boss rush. We've got to get to hush. We don't really benefit too much from exploration bonuses on the first couple of floors, so we just won't. That's going to be the way I deal with this man. <laughs> These things that turn into two more things. It's just trolly. Oh, we can't shoot through things. What am I thinking of? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm playing the Lost. I've been doing a lot of Lost runs on my own for practice purposes. Which has worked out really well. The Holy Mantle turns out to be an extremely valuable item. Uh, and I've gone from having basically no progress in the Lost whatsoever to a stupidly stupendous amount of progress as the Lost. I finally unlocked the D100 by doing Boss Rush with the Lost. And I finally unlocked uh, the Soul by beating the lamb with the lost. Unfortunately, I forgot that I had to do angel runes in order to get the the, uh, the devil's... No, the Mega Satan key. Uh, so I didn't get the opportunity to fight Mega Satan. And as the lost, you can't do sacrifice runes. Uh, that seems shit. Uh, okay, maybe we should just not have spent the penny, but... Also, not very much use. So we will keep what we've got and leave. Hmm... I'm hoping to find some way of re-rolling the rest of those. Um, maybe finding our secret room would have been a better use of the bomb that we did have. Now don't. Uh, you live and learn. Tech 5 is an amazing item, and I'm very glad that we got the opportunity to take the pony on the previous floor by simply not being given an option. I mean, we're given the option not to take it, but why would you not? Hopefully, we can also use the devil here to get down to enough HP that we can go and do the boss trap room, which I think is worthwhile. There's more points in the boss trap room than simply the exploration bonus, so here's to that being a, a good idea. I would like a damage upgrade. I would like to have an opportunity to become resurrected Lazarus, and that's a perfect opportunity to do exactly that, and this is two. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play this thing until it gives us something or we run out of HP. Oh, that was bad. Uh, okay, <laughs> didn't run out of HP. Then we'll take both of these, which gives us all the amazing in the world, and then we'll let that shoot us, which I didn't mean to do, but it happened. Uh, and then we'll go. And then we'll take this, uh, which was silly because now I can't get into here. Oh, I didn't think that through. Never mind. No boss rush. No boss trap room for us today. Boss rush, however, which I may have given away with a subliminal uh, failure to communicate. Uh, explosive diarrhea? No. Uh, explosive diarrhea? No. Alas. Uh, boss rush is something we want to do, and therefore, because of all my sort of in intrinsic failings, probably not managed to do, or at least not managed to do in a sensible way. Contract from below, by the way. What an amazing item. And curved horn. What a brilliant trinket. So we'll just have to try not to accidentally pick up the tick, because the tick will only be removed by the matchstick, which is something I learned and I didn't know. You can get rid of the tick. Ooh, a dime. Ooh! What was I just saying? About three minutes ago. But just saying. 
I was saying, the Holy Mantle is a stupendous item. So this should relieve us from all the stupid damage we tend to take. Oh, I'm very tempted to take this uh, jar of flies as well. Hmm. That is a very powerful item. We've got ourselves a, a damage upgrade in the form of what now? I don't know. <laughs> Why am I doing big tears? I don't know. I obviously deserve it because I'm brilliant and amazing and the game is taking picture of me. Oh, of course, we've got the... Uh, Curved Horn, which does a double damage thing to us, but I didn't think it actually upgraded the size of your tiers, but apparently it does. Maybe there's a limit to that. We've got four bombs now, we should probably make use of them. Man. Tech point five plus Holy Mantle is just an amazing carry, which means everybody's going to have an amazing carry, which means I should definitely not be taking any silly damage in this entire run, because that is going to be the difference between, you know, a high position in the leaderboard and a crappy position in the leaderboard. I didn't check other people's scores. Maybe we'll do that afterwards. Uh, and maybe we should do the boss mob trap room. I don't know why I didn't do this when we first arrived. But that is what happened. And so be it, I suppose. Uh, no, thank you. Tempted to go back into the curse room. Oh, we can go into the curse room for absolutely free because we just picked up Holy Goddamn Mantle, which is amazing. If you would like to not be here, and you can not be here. Also, Incubus is doing uh, the exact same damage that we're doing. So our damage is doubled by Curved Horn and then doubled again, provided our shots land by Incubus. Which is outrageous. And so is the payout from that chest. Let's go! We'll fight this boss and we'll make up some pretty decent time, I think. We don't need to worry about ground-based traps, which is my... Uh, I suppose my, my Achilles heel. Just to not notice that there's a ground-based trap that I need to not step on. This particular Joker here is also my Achilles heel, but if we stay sort of back a little bit, we can get some shots in and let Incubus do half the work. Incubus is the item that Illilith starts with, so I've talked about it a lot. Uh, magic message, great. It allows us to do a sort of a, a little dance, whereby we can leave Incubus where it is and try running around, because of course Incubus doesn't move, being at the end of our familiar's chain there. It does move a little bit, but not a, not a grand amount. What am I looking for in these mushrooms? Uh, apparently nothing. I can see forever. Well, <laughs> I took it. But taking pills at the start of a room is not necessarily the most advisable thing to do. But I did it. I can see forever is a good pill because Secret Room has an associated exploration bonus above and beyond the normal exploration bonus. Uh, I think I will go with Tammy's head. Uh, apparently I won't because I can't get out if I take damage head. Can I get it and then bounce? Oh no. Game, you are a dick to me right now. Uh, thinking about it, I would like to take Tammy's head, but it's not a huge, it's not a game breaker. See what I mean? Uh, I did get hit there, but that's okay. Tammy's head. When you've got normal tears, Tammy's head is pretty good. But you still actually have to hit with those tears, it's not guaranteed. It's only Brimstone itself that makes Tammy's head an amazing item. We can open this for free. That's splendid. And we don't have Brimstone. Yet. So if we get Brimstone on this run, I'm going to be upset that the game wouldn't let me have Tammy's head. Because I couldn't cheese it such that I could fly out or not already have flown into the gap. Which is a shame. Unless we get uh, more flight, of course. Then we can just go and grab it. In fact, if we get a deal with the devil with flight and brimstone on it, I'm going to be pretty happy. Because then we can go and fly in and get Tammy's head. Oh, be careful with Samson's chain. Can accidentally explode a mushroom and cause it to fart on us. Which in this game, of course, is a lot more... Well, it's pretty terrible IRL. Uh, <laughs> depending on how you feel about the person doing it. But in this game, it can be quite painful. Uh, it's Krampus, so we're not getting any of our wishes. The best we can hope for here is Lump of Coal. Incubus, why are you so far behind? Uh, I'm not going to take it. I'm really enjoying flight. Oh, we should go to this. Apparently, I managed to completely fail to notice that we were next to our item room a while ago. We'll do a couple more rooms. Yeah, the exploration bonus is definitely worthwhile. We've got plenty of time. We're going really fast. Which is outrageous. Oh, I can get him for free. <laughs> See that? Mushroom just trumped on us and cost us our holy mantle. Which is a thing you say when you play this game. Ah, Parasite is great. I'm not going to explore the rest of this floor. I'd like to sort of leave. If it's all the same to you. Definitely want to keep on top of the boss rush clock, because as soon as you think you're okay, 
you're not okay. Don't need any of this. Keeping the curved horn for our damage potential. We're well ahead, but you know what happens. You get to depths two, and you suddenly have no time left, and you're wondering what happened. Hmm. What has changed the colour of our shots? I don't think Parasite changed the colour of our shots, but I'm supposing it must do. Is there anything that we've picked up? And we'll get a few trinkets every now and then, thanks to the box of Cracker Jacks, but really, I don't expect it to be a huge deal. I think we're going to be keeping Curve Horn for the remainder of the game, unless we find something that's really outrageously good in terms of damage that we can keep, and something that we want to replace it for. There's options. We have a few more. Yeah, we'll take there's options. We've got a couple more left. I'm not going to take anything else. There's options will give us two drops from each boss, except for Mum, who already drops two drops, except she won't drop two drops because we're forced to take the negative if we're doing Mega Satan, which is a shame because you can, in any normal run, you can fight Mega Satan even if you go up to the chest, but you can only ever do a Dark Room run if the daily challenge wants you to fight Mega Satan, which is annoying because obviously the Dark Room doesn't have four guaranteed items, but that was a really quick room. In the time it took me to explain how I would like to occasionally have a Mega Satan run that goes to the chest, I had already beaten that room. Here's our item room, that's what we're looking for. It's Sad Bombs. Sad Bombs is a great item. We now have 18 Sad Bombs. Which means we can think about using bombs offensively. Which is something we're probably going to think about if we're going to go to the Hush Fight, which we are. There's some more bombs as well. So we have, we have a mystery sack. I think that was what we picked up. Mystery sack. It will be paying out with bombs occasionally. And those bombs will be offensively valuable. There's something about this game where if you have Holy Mantle, you almost never take a hit. Except on purpose like that. Whereas if you don't have it, you're going, I wish I could have Holy Mantle right now because I'm getting hit on every room. Flight plus Holy Mantle is basically the loss, right? We don't have Spectral Tears, but there's no reason that we couldn't get it at some point. But we're already ridiculously powerful right now. Uh, I do actually prefer Little Gish, and I think that... Mm, it was difficult, because speed is valuable, especially when you're doing a boss rush run. But... Um, I find the slowing effect from Little Gish is actually a very useful effect. Even on a run as powerful as this one, at some point we're going to come across some enemies that we're not happy with. Oh, I did get hit there. But the other thing is we've got this flight going on. And flight sort of counteracts the necessity for speed somewhat. I'm trying to figure out where the secret room would be, I expect, here. Yeah. Um, try not to get trumped on. More than once, anyway. Look, <laughs> this is just sound advice in general. Ah, oh, screw it. We got trumped on. Whatever. Oh, we took damage. Whoa. You know, I don't care. I care about that. I'm not a fan of that. I think it was a strength card we had. I'm keeping hold of that because I wanted to cheese a deal with the devil. It's not really that valuable, but we have enough time. We now have basically eight full minutes to beat Mom, <laughs> which is rare. Normally I have zero full minutes to beat Mom. Oh, that was a lucky guess. Let me in. Thank you. Do we want that? Sure. I mean, we've already killed ourselves as a ladder. And we're not going to do worse. You know, we're not going to... I can't imagine this run being a, a loss. I can't imagine us losing so much HP that, that this run goes to shit. We're already strong enough to not really have to worry about that. Oh, there's my explosive diarrhea pill, which I wanted before. Of course, uh, apparently Bad Trip triggers Holy Mantle. I didn't expect that. I was, uh, I went silent whilst I was trying to figure out what to do. That could be a good alternative to our damage. Ooh, <laughs> this game is just giving us everything. I'm not going to take the paperclip, mostly because we don't really need to worry about golden chests in general. We don't have Guppy's tail, for example. But we don't have Guppy's anything, do we? Um, but also we have a lot of keys. And essentially a key generator in the form of uh, Mystery Sack. And Mystery Sack will occasionally just randomly give us keys just for shits. 
which you know, I'm a fan of, thanks. But it means we don't need to think about keys, really. We only need seven for Hush. So as long as we've got seven, we can open chests anyway. Man, Toxic Shock is such a good item. I'm hardly doing any of the work to kill these enemies now. And no greed, please. No greed. But also, no real value. Nah. Exploding Tears is kind of fun. But I don't really know how to use it. I, I need to put my own time, sort of research, into how to... I'll take this. How to sort of get the best out of the Explodey Tears item. It can be really good fun, I understand that. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with it, so I'm not going to take it. We found the mom fight. Uh, we've got more six and a half minutes to uh, do something with that. We are basically out of control. I'm expecting to have finished boss rush by the time that we should have got into boss rush, by 20 minutes. And if not then, approximately then, if you see what I mean. I think I'm going to go spend some money in the arcade as well. No, some HP in the arcade. It allow us to do that boss trap room, which could be one of those eking out of a little bit extra... I didn't have to shoot anything. Step into a room and it's dead. Yeah, this will eke out, possibly, a few extra points that other people might not take the time to do. And we did skip some rooms on some floors, so I've lost the exploration bonus for those. I think the benefit speaks for itself in that we get to do boss rush easily, without having to panic about it, without having to literally rush. Ooh, no thanks. That's half of our damage. That's literally half of our damage right there, so I'll try not to take it. I'm trying not to pick up these red hearts as well on the way. Because they'll, they'll heal us once we're out. What's this? Telepills. Normally, I'll be happy to take telepills. I say normally as though I normally do other things. Normally, I do the daily runs, so in fact, this is normally. But normally, I would telepills out. I'm not bothered with it, just take the reward from starting the room. We need the points, and that's why we're here. Points mean prizes. I think we're playing well on this run, but I don't think the run really gave us the opportunity to not play well. So, I can't I can't claim the credit for how well we're doing. I have to give all that credit to simply the, the fact that this run is this run. You know, we, we do all that damage at the start of the room. We do all the damage with Tech Point 5, which we got for free because the game gave us flight on the first floor, which we're stuck with. And has done as well. Mom is already dead at nearly 16 minutes. We've got a deal with the devil, which gives us a guppy item. Uh, which I don't need to use. And we keep our flight. And hopefully... You see, the flight part of the pony makes me very reluctant. We could do it all again. Do you get the points? I'm going to do it. Hell with it. Oh, I should have fought it and then done it. Damn. I suspect that I might have just squandered the points for that. Never mind. We can't fly, don't forget that. But we're powerful enough that I really don't think that matters. Quite fast as well. Which is, um... Pleasing. I appreciate being this quick. I don't really want to fight that chap. See, we need we need to get a push on now because... We're doing the Depths 2 again. The Dank Depths 2. We've got a free little haunt, which is cool. And we get to have another look in... Ooh. I was going to say, this shot. This ain't no shot. Take the things. A few extra points. What makes you small? I'll be a little smaller. I feel quicker. I don't think we are. It's just a feature of being small, is it? You feel fast. We can break things if we want to. It does take a little bit of time to engineer it. Ah, we will take this then. That's really good. I'm very glad I did that. We should get a very strong exploration bonus for the rest of this floor. And I'm hoping that I haven't squandered the boss rush um, points. Do I even want to break this? Fudge it. <laughs> Just explode it. I was hoping for that, and it's what we got. Uh, I might as well keep two hearts. Mm. Neither of those really stands out to me as the correct thing to take. Oh, I wish I could get over there. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, excuse me. This way, please. All right, we need to really make a push on to find Mom again. It didn't take us long to beat Mom. Uh, especially with Toxic Shock doing all that damage to begin with. That, that initial damage, don't really want that. Don't know what it does really off the top of my head. It's not going to be better than Curved Horn. Uh, we can do this for free. Worth it? Bad trip. Nope. Telepills, nope. Keep it to a heart. Okay. I've done so many non-daily runs recently. Not on video. But I, I've forgotten 
that you're supposed to, you know, do boss rush and things like that. I've been skimming it up and just leaving with a telepills or just not doing it. Ooh. It's probably worthwhile. So is this probably. Nope. Never mind. 18 minutes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> this is giving me items that I really want. So we've now got 18 inch nails. We've picked up tech point five on the first floor. We've got toxic shock. We've got head of the keeper giving us the occasional coin, which will just add a little bit to our progress. And we found the mum fight. And this won't last long either. And again, I say, I really hope that I haven't lost the benefit from doing boss rush. I know you don't get it twice. I did get hit there. Uh, we get the Polaroid twice as well, apparently. We... Ooh, boss rush. No. Not really. I mean, we're going to want a passive item. I don't think we have any passive damage that will benefit us to take uh, the unicorn stump there, but still. Could have been good. Where's the other one? What are we fighting up against here? Hello? Enemy two? <laughs> I'd like to be able to fight something that I need to kill. Oh, it's probably Polycephalus, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's you. Same thing. We can hide behind Samson's chain, though. Which is excellent. Oh, still got walked into. Of course, Holy Mantle was squandered. Spent, I suppose. Squandered implies that I spent it on something I didn't want. We spent Holy Mantle in order to pick up God's Flesh. Which we won't see the benefit of on this fight, because I don't think you can shrink bosses and step on them. But with any luck, this will be over really quickly. I know I said boss rush would be over before we had to be in boss rush a second time. Like, before 20 minutes. I didn't include the possibility that we would do the entire <laughs> the entire Necropolis 2 a second time. So, we have just come up to the point where we needed to be in here. And I think we got a good exploration bonus from doing the Necropolis 2 twice. And again, I hope that I get the points for doing this, because if I don't get the points for doing this, I'm going to be slightly salty. Incubus being so far back is actually super helpful. I have to be honest, because anything that escapes my clutches the first time round, certainly doesn't the second time round. Right, we just need to find this. Our piercing shots from Tech.5 should make short work of Carrion Queen there, but we do have to watch out for the red poops being left around. Not being able to fly is non-ideal. Oh, careful. But, at the same time, <laughs> I don't care that much. We're very powerful, so most things die before it's a problem. It's only going to be spikes and creep that really get in my, that grind my gears today. Wow. Thanks for uh, just randomly teleporting on top of me. Yeah, dude. It's a good thing I came to see what the other one was, really. Now. Uh, but, you know, the lack of mobility does become a problem. But not, a, not a problem problem. You know, it's probably a bit disingenuous to literally say this is going to cause me to lose my run. The Basically, the only damage we've taken so far has been against this boss, and that one piece of damage that I wasn't paying attention to a while ago. So we've got hit twice since we picked up Holy Mantle, and a couple of times on the first floor. We're going extremely fast. We've doubled our exploration bonus. We've got double damage thanks to curved horn, and we've got double damage thanks to the fact that Incubus's shots are also going to hit, if I can sort of spin that into see what I mean. They do need to both actually hit, but that's okay. Incubus is sort of bringing up the rear, if you pardon the expression. You died a lot quicker than you did on the first floor, which I'm pleased with. We're tearing through these bosses like you never believe, and little Gertie there, Gertie Jr., is completely hard countered by the little gish that I chose over speed. Which turns out to have been the correct choice, because speed has probably would not have given us a great advantage. Especially not with having been able to fly for so long. We managed to get a decent amount of speed just literally out of the fact that we were flying over everything and not having to... Oh, not having to worry about it. And I'm actually managing to dodge things that I am anticipating. You know, standing in the right place. All this money is falling out of our tears because we've got Head of the Keeper. You're going to try and troll bomb me, which ain't going to work. But points for playing. Consolation prize, you get to like, not hang around awkwardly. Whilst it all goes down. Pestilence, I think, is my priority here because it can fly around and explode at me. Not in a good way. 
and we'll just, yep, yep, everything's dying super duper quickly. We'll get rid of that gurgling and then try to avoid Gerdy's shots. I don't want to move around too much to avoid Gerdy like I normally would because I don't want Incubus to get out of sync with me. There's another spirit heart. We seem to have uh, won a couple of keys. <laughs> I guess that's Mystery Sack paying out after every wave and we win and we take this. Thank you. I didn't realise more options actually applied to Boss Rush, which is excellent. And now we'll leave. So it's 23 minutes, and at the speed we're going, I would have to be doing very badly if I was going to fail to reach Hush. We'll do this room first, because we know it's a dead end. Uh, mm, no. <laughs> I have a feeling they cost us points to take, and there's no way I'm killing myself to pick up Judas' shadows. Fair enough. Uh... Oh, that was dumb. I wasn't sure what to do because he was doing this really weird confusing thing where he was neither running away from me nor attacking me. That's Chub for you. Especially fast Chub. Turns around fast. Hunts you down. It's fine. That's the first time we've really taken any considerable amount of damage. Like any any damage not to be... Well, you never really want to be proud of damage, but that was the first time we've taken any damage to be mildly upset about. To, to feel like you could have avoided. This, though... Is a shit show. There we go. There's no, ooh. no real point looking for tinted rocks. I'm just going to keep going. Parasite also helping out a lot because, uh, yeah. Well, all those extra items. There's another guppy item. And Steven, and I can see forever. That's going to be good. If we uh, happen to find the secret room on the way through, I will enter it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to look for it, because we do need to keep going fast. We're trying to do hush. And hopefully the hush fight will not be as long and grindy as it normally is, now that we picked up Steven as well. So it's another damage upgrade. And this is one of those runs where it's not just high damage, high speed, but also high defensiveness. And that's uncommon. Um, often your high damage runs don't come with something like Holy Mantle. They, in fact, they come with something worse, like something that takes away your HP. Maybe you got nine lives and shouldn't have, or maybe you killed yourself for the Dark Judas. But not today. In fact, I turned down Dark Judas, which is crazy. It's Conquest. Conquest will give us our pony back if we really want it. That's an option, actually. Uh, careful. You got me with your damn beams of light, you bastard. Where are you coming from? There you are. I'm going to use this here. It gives us even more stuff. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I wonder whether that will take them all away. Oh, we didn't know. Uh, I will take... Please don't take everything away. It doesn't. Okay, good. Take Squeezy. I'll take the damage upgrade. And I'll take this damage upgrade too. Um, I was tempted to take the White Pony, which is slightly better than the actual pony because it does the Beams of Light attack and also gives us flight, but... Really, I just wanted to see how outrageously good we could get. <laughs> and, um... Synth Oil, I think that was. No, speedball. Just gives us that extra punch. Gives us that extra speed. I wanted the speed from it. But now we don't have a spacebar item, so uh, I guess we could say we're accepting um, applications. Position is open. Where are we going to get a spacebar item from? That's a good question. Do we get points for doing this? Not that. This. I wonder what bounce does. That's uh, the blister. I forget what it does. I looked up all the trinkets, but I've forgotten again. Because some of them weren't very interesting. I think that was one of them. Pin, you're on the wrong side of the map. I did get hit by Pin, just because I was standing around waiting for him. It's fine. We could possibly scum up trying to get into the boss trap room, but I'd rather get to Hush. I'd rather know that we can get to Hush before I try getting in. Oh, we can't, because I blew up the blood bank. <laughs> okay, good job. Well done. Tapeworm could be good, but I don't think it stands up. I don't think it holds a candle to the double damage that we get from Curved Horn, which is possibly the best trinket that there is. Still takes three hits to get rid of those things, though. Where do we want to go? This way? Probably. I didn't pick up those keys because I missed them, and I'm still trying to rush. Okay, here's our boss line. So we'll open this, we'll open this. We did get a deal with the devil on the last floor, which is mildly upsetting in the sense that we already had had it. You know, we've been teleported to it. Uh, which is not great because... Oh, careful. 
it means that we don't get one here, basically. Uh, we should explore. We've got plenty of time. A minute and a half to get to that door. Ah, I think we can do that. Uh, no, thank you. Should have got on the way back. Never mind. We'll do a little bit more exploration, just for the bonus. I'm pretty sure I got I Can See Forever. Maybe that was on the previous floor. Sad bombs too. Sad bombs will probably help a lot against Hush. Come back to you. Here? Uh, what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Why are they still happening? Oh, it's parasite shots. There wasn't even a bloody secret room there. Put all that effort in. Here. Shame. Okay. You die, you die. Good. You die, you die, you die, you die. I'm just walking over this creep like I don't go. like it ain't no fang. Curse room gives us some spirit hearts that we don't need. This gives us some stuff. Uh, I think we're doing alright. 99 cents. No. Nothing to spend it on, although we do have a hush shop at the minute. Man, $3 bill is such a great item, is it not? Do you not agree, friends and fellows? Fellow Isaac Beers. Okay. <laughs> Battery charges everywhere. No spacebar item. Starting to think maybe the white pony was a good idea. Oh, well, let's just move on. We don't need these spirit hearts. We don't need these red hearts. We can't get into the boss trap room, unfortunately, because that's not where the secret room is. That was well placed, because that's where that was. Oh great, all this shit I don't need! Stop it! I'm happy at a balance of six red and six not red hearts. So, I guess we'll just finish. Let's not accidentally walk down the wrong hole. Uh, accidentally going in the wrong hole is not something anyone wants to be known for. <laughs> Infamy is always in this place. <laughs> Don't know why I'm even remotely surprised to see it here. We should pick these up afterwards, because if we buy EG this, and EG this, Joker. Is there anything here? I'm going to say maybe not. Uh, we will take this. And we will take... Take the poison damage, I think. That seems like the... Doing extra damage doesn't really matter in our sort of day-to-day, -day, our daily quotidian room-to-room -room combat. But it's going to really matter on the hush fight. <laughs> um, just need to not get hit if I can possibly manage it. And there'll be all these... Wow, nearly got hit by those homing shots. There'll be all these coins on the floor for us to collect at the end of it. And I definitely think this is a Mega Satan worthy run. I think this is... I think Mega Satan is going down. Like your mama. So we'll do our uh, sad bombs thing. Don't forget we have Holy Mantle, although I can't see myself in order to avoid the shots right now. Oh, that's good. It's only, um... It's only Death's Touch that has piercing shots, so we can shoot our bombs in the rest of the time. We can also hide behind Samson's ball and chain. Look at all these coins. Coins, I think, give you more points if you need them. Which is why I wanted to make sure we picked them all up after we bought stuff from the shop rather than beforehand. There you go, you can have that. Probably could have managed to actually do some uh, bomb damage with that bomb, but I failed, as usual. Wow, that was a good explosion. And we'll use the Joker card on the next floor, because I don't want to risk the idea that perhaps if you use the Joker card on this floor, it just does nothing. Or teleports you to a random room that you don't want to be in. I want to be in the Devil Room. I've got six red HP, which is more than enough for anybody. Kick. Wow, <laughs> that just just ends the the stage. I'm dodging like a champ. Oh my god, the eye shots do our actual tears. I didn't expect that. I thought they just did normal, like Abel. I thought they were shit like Abel. I only picked them up because the other option was worse. To the extent that I don't remember what it was. Uh, don't get hit. Having taken one one makes you small pill uh, does help. More than one can actually be a hindrance. I still seem to have Holy Mantle active despite that stunt. I think I'm being protected by the fact that Samson's ball of ball and chain is always behind you. So as long as I'm running away from the tears, from Hush's tears, get that in. Oh, 
Have we got the range to do this? Not whilst we've got <laughs> my reflection. That was three dollar bill helping out. Thanks, three dollar bill. Really appreciate that. Oh, oh. Need to get your bombs in. I don't need to, but it'll speed up the fight to such a, a valuable extent. We've got me and uh, Incubus doubling my damage. Me and my shadow, but not my shadow, which is a different item that we didn't take. Because it would involve us taking... I didn't take it, by the way, in case you were wondering. My shadow creates a black one of those uh, silk worms on your side whenever you take damage. Not whenever you get hit. Like most things, if you have Holy Mantle, you don't get the benefit of it if, if it just takes Holy Mantle. You actually have to get hit and take damage. Doesn't seem to be happening too much, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm not actually getting hit outside of Holy Mantle. I think I did that entire fight without losing Holy Mantle. So you can imagine that my shadow would literally just have cost us the HP Joker. and nothing else. In fact, this is probably going to cost us just the HP required to do this. Which is a, a lot more than normally because we're on... If I'd taken the wafer, I wouldn't have been able to do... Oh, great. <laughs> I would not have been able to do... The, the Necropolis 2 again. However, we would have been able to get double benefit out of that. I genuinely thought that those tears that were coming back were his shots. They were my own shots coming back to say hi. Revisiting home. That's fine. So they're allowed to do that, but I wish they'd call first. Yeah, I, th I thought that maybe we'd probably get some uh, red HP back over time. Uh, the Rosary Bead. That produces... It's a spirit art producer in some respects. I don't quite know the mechanics of it, but... <laughs> the monster that spawned next to me died immediately. Yeah, Rosary Bead does not beat uh, the Curved Horn. In fact, nothing is going to beat the Curved Horn, because the Curved Horn is outrageous. Especially not Super Magnet, which was the other trinket that we got the option to take. Which, although it pulls things towards you, which is not a big deal for me, it also pulls enemies towards you. Which is a big deal for me. I don't want them near me. That's why I'm shooting them from a distance. There's no point taking that. It would just cost us points. Okay, it didn't last long. <laughs> it's going so fast. Oh wow. This is the sort of the. Uh, this is the sort of run you want when you've had a couple of bad runs. You want to remember how generous the game can be. Because it's an. It's, I'm playing it for my own entertainment, and I'm recording it for shits and giggles, right? And if the game doesn't really deliver on superb entertainment value, I'm going to be slightly more salty than I would if it was something I had to do. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense, because I said it. I was listening to myself. So when the game is outrageously good like this, when the run is outrageously good like this, you just feel that much better that, that your playtime is, is that much more valuable. You just want to run around, pressing the buttons, and kicking the shit out of the game. Because the game allows you to kick the shit out of it. That is why we play Isaac. You, know, you wouldn't be playing Isaac if you thought, I'm never going to get good at this game. You're playing Isaac for runs like this, where it just gifts you. Should we play this and see if we can get something good out of it? Spirit Heart's not going to be valuable. That's not going to be valuable. That new trinket, by the way, ensures that greed does not show up in shops. <laughs> All these things... Wow, our luck stat must be outrageously good. Uh, I'm just going to blow it up. <laughs> I don't want to do any more here. I'm leaving. Can't make a mistake. Don't need the spirit hearts. There's one more room, but I'm really not that bothered about finding out what's in it. Take that, though. One more black heart just allows... If we do start taking damage... Um, then it's going to be redeemed damage. Redeemed like a voucher. Like a voucher for your mama. See, you can just stand behind Samson's ball and chain and let the shots come to you. Which is probably how we survived the hush, hypes, hush fight for so long. Samson's ball and chain was just there for us. Uh, let's not bother with that last room. We found the secret rooms, which I think is probably more valuable. 39,000. If we explore this floor, there's a strong chance... Oh, 43,000. There's a very good chance, in my humble opinion... Oh, I didn't need the Joker card. Whatever then. Rotten Baby is cool. Headless Baby is fine. 
conjoined is, and the pentagram is damage up. Alrighty then, this is telepills. This too is telepills. We don't need the joker card. <laughs> we don't need telepills either. Oh yeah, conjoined does a permanent triple shot with a widespread. I remember that. I, I can only imagine that's beneficial to us. We have the Holy Mantle, so we will not be taking damage except in extreme circumstances, i.e. I'm a complete noob, which is not unlikely. There's a, there's a situation right now. Man. Enough of those things in one damn room? Still kind of looking for any item at all. My spacebar has not been pressed all game. Well, it has. Press it once or twice to use a pony effect on a couple of... Uh, couple of boss rooms that probably didn't warrant it. Just to just add a little bit of damage to the damage we're already doing. Okay, we've got PhD. And we've got a little chubby. That doesn't really help. Look, up. Oh, here's a thing. PhD does convert actually bad pills into good pills as well. So if we find some pills, we should probably have a look at see if they're any good. They might not be. I'm hoping to get maybe another couple of spirit hearts out of this before the mega stand fight. Because although we're doing a kick-ass amount of damage, stop making me wait. Seriously. Um, it's still nice to have that little bit of extra defensive potential. You know, uh, it's, it's... puts your mind at rest. Thank you very much. Maybe we're putting a bomb here to see if we get one more spirit heart. We didn't, but... Three dollar bill is really tearing through all the the items, the tear effects for us today. Nothing in that room lasted any amount of time. The Haunt, the only reason you're going to last time is that you spend some time invincible. And you are dead. Note, of course, that <laughs> our Incubus has also got the conjoined tear effect. These are the, it's firing three shots too. Everything here is an item. Betrayal is okay. Glitter bombs is just more bombs and maybe some items for us. Maybe. I think telepills remain telepills, though. They're considered useful. Okay, mama. Look, stop making your mama jokes. No one's finding them interesting. Yeah, your mum finds them interesting. Look, stop it. That's it. It's not it. Okay, good. I'm going to keep exploring, because every room is that few extra points. I think that's like one point I picked up those. I think it took me longer to pick them up in terms of points. <laughs> cost me more points to pick up that's three points for each one of those. I still think it's probably worth less to pick them up, just because you have to go out your way to do so, than it is to leave them on the ground. Unless they're in front of you. Wow. Not quite sure what happened there, but I think I lost Holy Mantle. Shit just went down. In a, in a way that was not well recorded in the annals of history. It may actually have been well recorded, so I might... Invite you to overlook the footage and see quite how I took damage on that double wretched fight. It's possibly got something to do with the fact that I had no idea which of the items on the room was actually me, because I seem to have more familiars behind me than there are in the game. That's it, we're done. There's probably a super secret room somewhere. It's there! What are the chances of that? And we've got PhD. Don't really need a health up. Look up probably doesn't help. I can see forever. It means I don't have to try and find the other one. And balls of steel will help us on the off chance that we do take a couple of hits on the Mega Saint fire, which is not impossible because there is a little bit of bullet heli going on and there's a little bit of... Where is it? It's over here, I think. There's a little bit of just enemy hell going on. Oh, hi, Super Greed. Thanks for showing up. A few extra points. Not going to sweat that. And we'll go and win the game. This is already over. Holy Mantle could easily get knocked off just from a, an errant shot very early on. Uh, I'm anticipating. Oh, there we go. We just, <laughs> it, it happened because we happened to be standing where the enemy spawned. Which is a shame. I didn't think it was a uh, horseman first. I thought it was the mini um, sins first. I think we completely avoided the mini sins stage of the game. So we could take a couple of hits, like that. But that's what Balls of Steel is for. We've got Betrayal, which pheromones is everything whenever we get hit. It's not just a matter of laying down all the, uh, all the damage is the point here. Yeah, we missed the 
first phase. <laughs> this is why I got hit by death at the start of the second one. That's fine, though. Uh, can you not do that? It doesn't... No, no. It's a bit rude. Mega Saiyan. So we've got Balls of Steel. It will give us two Spirit Hearts. Which will help on the off chance that we need them. I'm just going to stand behind Samson's chain here. Hopefully that will pop everything. It did. We got hit once on the entire Mega Saiyan. Not twice. Okay. Technically we got hit twice. I know who's counting. Should have taken Balls of Steel. It might have been a few extra points. 52,000 is a good score on 90th. It's a good rank. I hope you enjoyed that run. I really did. If you did, uh, considering hitting the like and subscribing and telling all your friends because this is a new channel with new people. Uh, and come back tomorrow for some more.